Hi guys, Muslims are taught by their God that unless they believe and do A and B and C in that precise order, they were produced as fuel for a big fire, which their God, well, A created, B needs to keep going, and C needs some sort of worldly fuel for. In other words, human bodies, human skin. And when this human skin has been burnt off, replaced, and then is burnt off again, it declares itself to be an all-merciful, an all-knowing, and all-powerful God. And this brought me to this lovely picture. Jim Davis, the inventor and creator of Garfield, came up with this image back in, what, 1978? Sheer satire to demonstrate the point, showing a cute puddy cat sending the cute message of wish you were here, normally found on postcards from a beach somewhere, but this time sent from hell, creating a joke. <laughs> well, it's a sick joke, which for me is incredibly funny because it is so uncannily true when applied to the God of Islam. And this leads me to three questions. Would an all-knowing God, an all-knowing God, require a test? An all-knowing God, would it require a test to know something about the very creatures it created by its own two hands? Would an all-powerful God require fuel to keep a fire going? And would an all-merciful God require eternal, infinite torture as punishment for a finite crime or simply for using your intellectual faculties and coming to a conclusion? If your answer to any one of these three questions is yes, you don't really need this God in your life. If, however, your answer is no to any one of these three questions, well, you're either illogical, dishonest, or both.